Oh, now, Raptor oh. paid for it with his life, but definitely worth that it. It's oh, overtime. The payload for overtime. Here we go, folks. Can he maintain for a tank to get through? And he is able to. He's going to have to. Here we go, overtime. Oh. They got to push through. Oh. Got to get rid of the defenders quick oh. enough. All right. Here we go. Come on, guys. That teleportability lets her stay on point for a while. Overtime is gone. Good job, guys. Watch this. Here Perfect he goes. Maneuver. Just, he just, just kind of flips over and then gets the demo and knocks in the goal. All right. Ooh. West Virginia going hard for the goal. Ooh, oh. really good save. Excellent save. Here we oh, go. Brandon. Hey, yeah. Brandon with the freeze frame there. <laughs> comes down. And there he comes. <laughs> nice uh, jabs there. Oh, oh that. <laughs> that was that was up. Uh, she's not as heavy as she is. Yeah, he's actually one of the nice. He nice. Good read there. More of his way with Jigglypuff here. A very nearly a knockout. Oh, there it is. Drag down Folks. into critical with thunder. Everybody and welcome back. Thank you so much for being here with us at Infocom in Orlando, Florida. Faulkner has traveled all the way down here to be here thanks to AVI Systems, one of our great sponsors who helped us put together our arena. So we're here to do a demo of the tech here today and we're about to play some Rocket League, which you know I always love. So we're about to get into that right now. Let's go ahead and introduce our players and we'll go ahead and check in on them, see what they're doing. So you'll see there, oh, that's actually the uh, part of our booth there. <laughs> Uh, just a second. Oh, there's Brandon. Okay, <laughs> that's what was, I was wondering what was going on there. Uh, that is our team captain, Brandon Dishman or Super Dish, and uh, he's going to be playing. And then we've also got Scourge. That is Seth Dawson, so he's going to be on the white team as well. And then we got Trey Parker, who, uh, interestingly enough, also the captain of our Overwatch team, but he's going to be here playing Rocket League today. Then we've got old King T, Jared Tisdell, who is going to be playing for the other team. He's going to be on blue along with Caleb Ote, his teammate, otherwise known as uh, Mr. Headshot. Sorry, he has a different tag for every game, so sometimes I forget. And then, of course, we've got Brandarius or Brandon Campbell. So yes, we do have two Brandons. We hit our Brandon quota this year. And we're about to get underway with the game here in just a second. So this one's going to be slightly different from the first one. This is going to be a best of three. So we're going to just play a best of three here in Rocket League, Faulkner Blue versus Faulkner White. So uh, fun I have within our own, you know, you know how are on sport that they can be against each other, they're very competitive internally. And so because of that, we're going to have them against the other chin here. Clearly go to the top pack. And I have to interview and it looks like Trigger will be getting the first touch. So as Jared Tiddell is he's playing a strong name. Gary gets the first row. Not a little up with the first row. He does set up any grips. He comes in and is able to pop him. So very quickly, only eight tenths in game. Blue already would. Surge gets the first touch. And he shoots over Kalila. And there is the top. Oh, and Demo there, right? A goal. Skirt. Skirt definitely playing. Uh, oh, Brad Derrick gets them as well. So, team play exchange. Those like, oh, you got their own team together. So, uh, Riley gets me hot. One of their teammates. There he is, a kick. Super Dish. Tries to gold the stead to sit out for Should baby with FC. And Brad Derrick scores the chip. Root, actually, and Super Dick comes in, pointed on center. Oh, but Headshot is not able to catalyze that. Good enough. Unfortunately, Headshot uh, just he's a little for them. But they're going to get sent on a goal stop. Super Dick is over. And ball kind of won by Super Dick going through the door to try to get back into territory and does. Get close to the goal. Cody Loach is back. They're going to try to sum up here. Get a drop it. Right for goal. But actually, bumps him out. Good defense by the bottom of the team. Dish with deal. Very still able to go. Watch this. He kicks over to predict it, but Dish reacts and is able to 
hit it with time, which will actually slightly screw it back. So, actually, it won't fall quite as much as if it didn't hit. So, it'll go a slight less hit. It. And it's like, got uh, oh, head not coming up on me. <laughs> sure, baby. And Darius trying to push it back to the enemy area, but gets to see there and they very push it for the hill. Super dead from the cover, but Ethan rising a shot here. Not a good time. Oh, Diva misses Blanc. Grand Darius comes in, and it's over. Alright, so ball down a passing, and then we're here to round. Darius comes over, it's the soul. Well, Lila's over, trying to get this ball in a dangerous position. Super should get over front, go by Darius there, knock it out, get through the ball. Oh, Darius still shot here. Charlie, make it real. Try something. Good. And it's too much there for a second. Fish. Great Darius, get a shot here for Dish Bless. Good thing on the ball, Whitey. There you go, one to left. Darius try to get the ball in the goal, not able to do some hits a little too hard. Oh, it comes to Dimmons. Have a very open hole. Two people missing. And Darius has a big word hole. Just to the sugar baby. He tried to jump to the dip, not able to get the ball in time, but Darius with a safe hit. I don't think we're on in hot, so we'll get a punch there after he is able to get the ball. Only 10 seconds left. Turn it down long. On the old team, struggle. Kick it. I just bring your back. That's right there. That's oh, cool. and it's the fuck around. Wow. Well, for round, I noted a couple of things there. So, one of the things that you noticed, because we took the game that we were playing just a few minutes before, and one of the things that you noticed they weren't able to execute as well, and is weren't able to throw their assists, and saw the balls aided Orange to quite a bit, so they were able to really those steps. But, you know, that's, uh, fortunately, that's what did it good times. And I really think that was the different game. We're going to go ahead and mark the second round here in a minute. They should be coming here in a second. So those of you that are just joining and wondering, hey, why are they not at Jachar USA Res Arena? Why is Faulkner seemingly somewhere else? That's because they are. We're in Orlando, Florida. We're here with AI. And ABI is actually hosting this event. And we are here to sort of showcase some of the things. So if you are thinking about maybe starting an esports program at your college or university, you can be sure to get with them and they can give the same setup that is here and at our own arena. So here we go. We've got kickoff here in a second. Oh, someone's going there. I think they had a little bit of miscommunication with the parties. That must have been what happened. So they reset here in just a second and then we'll get back to the action. I hope they were having technical difficulties. I hope not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this was an intro game. So we'll be back with them in just a second. They're going to go ahead and fix that in. I'm sure that they'll be able to do that uh, for too long. Uh, but anyway, we are here. We're uh, excited to be this booth here in Orlando, Florida. And it's a long trip for us today, but we were pleased to be able to come and to do this. And, uh, you know, the guys were really excited. We walked into the commit floor, and I mean, it was like their uh, mouths dropped. It's just such a surreal thing. They have a really great job setting up this booth, setting up everything. And we really appreciate our friends at AI Systems for being able to all that. And, of course, they ask us if we were we'll be able to come down. We were like, we'll be able to. We would love to be able to do that. So, um, the things I will up on uh, from the third round that, that I know too uh, that we just watched. You know, it seems as though there's a much more cohesive teamwork you're seeing with the blue team. I don't know why, but maybe they've meshed a little bit better in the second round. Maybe taking that loss in the last game that we watched, it's sort of them understand they needed to be. And so, because of that, I think they may have decided to change up their, their setups a little bit. So, you're really seeing the, the team make uh, a concerted effort to change up their tactic there. And it looks like they're having some issues. Hang on, let me take a look at this. No, I think they're actually... Yeah, they're getting ready to jump in in just a second. So, here's the team set up. We'll be able to join them in a moment. But in the meantime, give to so give a shout to all the groups that are able to bring here. You can see several of their logos behind me here at the booth. So I've got Neck here, we've got New Tech, we've got Steam, we've got Oh, oh, looks like Super Dates the first touch. I saw a demo that I didn't see who it was Alright, so head out. Get over. 
and super did fours. Not bad. Watch this back and forth here. You're gonna see Super Dish is it up against ball. There's demo there by search. So shut up, the demo didn't matter. And Brand Gary the The league are going to get a very nice up to his ball. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a piece there to capitalize on it. Oh, Kurt being a bull there. Take it. Now it's good turn. And another one. To push it over into some blue glory. Gets caught up the corner. Caligula gets to get a ball. Doesn't that ball anywhere in his goal. Gets that to there. Super Dale for the goal and it's it. So you'll see what happened is they were in time on the end of the stance here. They were on the other side of the field. And so the bat not able to react. Dr. Headshot does try to go in flex, but not able to go in time. It's one that's anticipating that your opponent's going to make you so tight in this game. He's going to push for corner. Brandary scores. So why does Petrick goes up, misses it, so that Brandary is able to pop the ball up in open field. Fighting going on here. He was able to get it at least away from hold. Out of the corner. And then uh and he's able to make the goal. Man, what a shot. Watch this. Watch the angle he gets this. So he's able to just barely tap with the front and then it just bounces up back post into the goal. And we have a tie game here. Two to two. This is an awful lot like the game from our last bracket. I'm going to remind everybody that, whoa, double, double deploy. Oh man, Dirge had a golden opportunity there to score and not able to do it. But it doesn't matter because headshots are making the way. For you, everywhere. I have no idea who that first kick it was like four digits going for. I figure they need the save there. And the big one. They guess going up. And L and Eva. Dancy makes sure that does not get up and does not go to Vangarius. Gets it right here, but he's off the backward. And then Ligula is just to just gently get the ball in. So here we are, three and three again. Well, we're not in three again, but we're tied again. That's what I meant to say. Diva going to wall crawl here. But it's stopped by Dr. Headshot. Finish going to kick it away from more territory. It's going to get nowhere near your goal here. Oh, no. Oh, no. He filled for Dish on that one. Watch. Darius goes up, and he's he's got the angle, and it's probably going in. Bran tries to stop it. He just not, cannot get there in time. The second I'll stop for the own goal.
touch back there. What you got? Good fish. Pushing it to midfield. Brandy. Brandy is going to try to get him here. That's going to be tricky. Oh, but look at Dr. Shot able to get off the victory. And that's just going to go for the goal. And even Caligula tried block, but not able to make it in time. Super Dish boards. So again, we are tied to 10 seconds left in the game. This game's been absolutely bananas. Scourge with first touch and gets a very close goal. Somebody's gets more quick or an overtime. Super Dish went to push over and overtime to the overtime. Brand area is going to try to play fancy area. Super Dish able to see. Brand area is able to see. Oh wow! Sugar Baby comes out of nowhere! What is this? Brand area goes up and he misses it a little bit then. Sugar Baby able to capitalize that. Gets it right in her goal. Nobody to block it. And the white team is also now split. Blue one, white one, so this will be the rubber match. Man, and that was such a game. You were able to be from both sides, really. Both of them able to really match each other, and you tell that these teams are just very evenly, evenly situated. So here we go. we're going to get to the third and final match of this round. This is for all the proverbial marbles and the real ones. Gerd okay. with first touch. Very Gary to come in and still to try to make out here. See if she's able to if we get enough momentum up to make sure they go in. And Dr. Shot really makes noise here. Oh, look. Grandarius. So Grandarius pushes it here. And able to just kind of slide its tires. Do a little bit of force correction there. So that was able to make the rip, really make the rips. When Kila and Super Dish kind of canceled each other out on that one. Kicked off. Kind of under the And the demo. Super Dish gonna come in. Gotta make something in here. Brandary is gonna be in time. Super Dish able to sit in. Watch how long this shot and he takes it off an angle. Watch this. Super Dish then pushes it off wall and able to get just enough English on it. Kind of curves in the air. Hey, there is the first cut. Last game, we are at a tie again with three minutes left. Two minutes. All right, so Brandarius going to push over. Oh, wow. And Super Duty winds up scoring. So check this out. Brandarius goes up, tries to push the ball away the goal, but winds up getting to where it has a clear pass with the goal. And be not able to make the block in time. All right, two-one ball game. The team got some ground to wait to pick up. Just a reminder, we're actually tied at one game to one game. So whoever wins this one wins the match.
brand new area, pull it off, it's like, nope, it falls a little short. Darius takes a shot, but Super Dish with the save. To take another one, and Super Dish again! Oh, and Sugar Baby with the demo and the goal. Nice! Good stuff. Brandarius with the goal. Gonna try it out to rally here. Doesn't like it down two goals. Don't blame. Not a fan. In comes Dr. Chuck Skirt. He's able to get the ball. He's all where he wanted to go. He did. Oh wow. Great save by Viva. Three defenders at Brandarius tried, but we got people there at the goal to kind of get it in. Defense is Oh, and there he goes. 30 seconds up. Blue team really struggled to be able to get something here. I'm sorry, I got wrong one there. Super Edition was actually trying to knock onto the ground and does seeds in that, and white team wind up taking that way. Blue team wins the first round, white team wins the second round. They are neck and neck, and we're gonna go ahead and jump to our post game interview. So we're gonna, oh, we got, uh, I think we got Brandon Kimball coming in. So, uh, he's just going to be making his way over here to the desk. And, um, getting to grab your chair. Yeah. There we go. So, Brandon Campbell now, uh, interesting backstory for Brandon. Excuse me, on the side. Uh, he actually was one of the push from last season as well, and able to come back and, and to be part of this event. Because uh, he actually moved away, but he was on champion team last year. So, uh, Brandon, you want to grab your headset there? And uh, welcome in. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. All right, so uh, we were watching the last game, and it, it seemed as though there was uh, a different configuration, and y'all's teamwork wasn't quite as, as streamlined as it had been. Uh, so what were like some of the adjustments that were made uh, there? Um, we were going for uh, stuff we shouldn't have gone for. In that, there was just a few double commits, and they kept boost starving us. We, we never had any boost, so that's you think that's a uh, strategy that they implemented in the last one to try to... I'm not sure if it was on purpose or they just happened to like boost that game. <laughs> well, that can't happen. I know Jared probably, he's, he's very conscious about boost. And so, like, that's something that he's always, like, got on his mind. So, um, yes, that's definitely something there. So, uh, while you're here with us, though, tell us a little bit about your experience last semester with being on the championship team, being able to go... Uh, with Cam and Lane uh, being able to get the undefeated and win the conference championship for, for East Bend. It was just too easy. Uh, we just uh, we, we practiced a lot more than our practice with the gentleman here today. Right. And um, our chemistry, we, we just knew what we were going to do and did it. 
that's, that's what led us to the end. Well, I mean, obviously it was effective, so, uh, you know, you were able to really execute at a very high level because of that, because you guys, like, it's funny because watching a, a game, you would think that you guys have been playing together for years just because of your coordination, but it just kind of came naturally to you all. Yeah. So um, as far as that goes with the game here today and, and coming down here to be able to uh, be with these guys, what are some things that you've noticed about them? Like what's your impression of the, the younger guys that are coming up sort of in, in the shadow of, of the team that was there last year? I, uh, I have high hopes for them this coming up semester. Um, I feel like with enough practice they could, they could have a shot. Well, we're certainly glad to hear that. We appreciate you being willing to be generous with your time and come down here with us. So that is Brandon Campbell. He, uh, former captain of CSGO, actually, uh, former captain of the CSGO team and was here and, and was one of the members of the uh, championship team from last semester. So we certainly thank you for being here with us. So that's going to be it for us for right now. We've got two more games coming up after this. I believe the next one is going to be at three. And that one's going to be, uh, Brandon's going to be playing in that one as well because that one's going to be against Talladega. So it'll actually be Faulkner versus Talladega. We've only had Faulkner games so far, but we're going to be adding them in. So be sure to check back with us right here on, on Twitch and Facebook and Twitter and all the places that you're watching us. Uh, be sure to check back at 3 o'clock and we will be there for that. In the meantime, stay the course, friends. Are we live? All right. Welcome to the Infocom Esports Live uh, venue on the trade show floor of Orange County Convention Center. Isn't this awesome? This is an exciting place. Wonderful to be here. 
So I'm Kevin Arvin. I'm one of the managing partners for eFootprints and our sister company, EF Networks. And I'm joined by a panel of industry experts here, Arturo Hernandez from Corsair, Mike Brandis from QSIS, and Scott Dorn from uh, Spectrum. Spectrum. So in just a few minutes, we're going to gain their insights and their thoughts on our topic, which is the business of collegiate esports. But first, uh, Brad Sousa of uh, AVI asked us to talk a little bit about eFootprints, our company, and what we do in this space. We're honored to be invited by, by Brad to take part in this. We've developed a great professional relationship with AVI through partnering on professional engagements with uh, clients in the higher education space. But basically, our company solves client problems they can't solve on their own. And we stand in the gap, so to speak, as facilitators between our customers